math class production productions. All right, so Lawrence, here we got here we got a bonus problem that only one out of ten students, that's ten percent, was able able to solve. So this is a really difficult bonus problem because it's combining a couple different topics. Wait, I need to see that bonus. First of all, we got fractions because the side lengths of this right triangle, the two legs, are both fractions. This one's eight ninths of an inch, and this one's two thirds of an inch. And the problem asks us to find the perimeter of the right triangle. So to find the perimeter, we know we got to find all three sides. We have two of the sides. What we don't have is the longest side or the hypotenuse. That's C right here. So if we have a right triangle and we know the two legs, we can find the hypotenuse by using what theorem, Derek? <laughs> Pythagorean. No. Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, oh, Pythagorean yeah. theorem. Which states that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Where A and B are the legs of the triangle and C is the longest side of the hypotenuse. So now we got to plug in the two legs we have, the two fractions, into A and B. A, let's say, is this one? doesn't matter which you call A and which you call B. We'll say A is 8 ninths and B is 2 thirds. So we're going to have to square those fractions. Now when you're squaring fractions, you're multiplying 8 ninths by 8 ninths. And when you're doing that, you just multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. So we can actually just square the 8 and square the 9 and get a fraction as our answer. 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, so 8 ninths squared is 64 over 81. 2 thirds squared is going to be 2 squared or 4 over 3 squared or 9, so 4 ninths equals c squared. Okay. When we get to this step, we have to add these two fractions, but they don't have a common denominator. Now, 81 is a multiple of 9, so if 64 were divisible by 9, we could simplify this to have, it have 9 on the bottom, but that's not possible. So we've got to take this fraction, multiply numerator and denominator by 9, that's going to make it 36 out of 81. So we now have 64 over 81 plus... 36 over 81 equals c squared. 64 over 81 plus 36 over 81 comes out really nicely to 100 over 81 equals c squared. Now, if these hadn't come out so nicely, this problem would, have been, would be a lot harder. But these are both perfect squares. 100 is 10 squared and 81 is 9 squared. So when we take the square root of both sides to find c, this fraction is going to come out to 10 over 9. So c is 10 over 9. Now the student who got this problem right actually stopped here. So she only got half credit on the problem. She said the answer was c is 10 ninths or 1 and 1 ninth. But what the question actually asks is to find the perimeter of the right triangle, not the hypotenuse. So we actually have another whole step to this problem, which is to take C, our hypotenuse, and add it to the other two sides. Now before we add, we have to change this fraction so it has a 9 on the bottom. 2 thirds is equivalent to 6 over 9. We get that by multiplying the top and the bottom by 3. And now we have three fractions that all have the same denominator, so we can just add them up. 6 over 9 plus 8 over 9 plus 10 over 9. Denominator stays the same. 
Numerators get added. 14, 24. And just to make it a little nicer, let's change our final answer to a mixed number. 24 over 9 inches. Nine goes into twenty-four two times, so the perimeter is going to be two, and then that gets us to eighteen. We have a leftover of six ninths, which will simplify almost there to two thirds. So the perimeter of this right triangle is two and two thirds inches.